The following program is being paid for by Liberty Group LLC, and the views and opinions of the host do not necessarily represent those of the station or its ownership. This is Protect Your Assets, a show to help you empower your financial life with David Hollander. David is president and CEO of the Liberty Group LLC, has been featured in Forbes magazine, and is called the Sandman because he helps you sleep better at night. And now, here's David Hollander. Welcome to Protect Your Assets. I am David Hollander, your host. And today I'm going to be your drill sergeant soldier. It's great to be here this morning. Do I have a great show planned for you today? For those of you just joining us for the first time, welcome. People around here, they call me the Sandman because I help my listeners sleep well at night by answering their most troubled legal or financial questions every single week. That's because I am a financial advisor and an attorney. If you're retired, Maybe you're thinking about retiring. Maybe you're just thinking about getting a financial plan together, getting your act together this year financially. You're wishing for one thing right now. What is that one thing? Well, it was 1984 all over again. Why? Don't you remember what interest rates were doing back then? I saw this morning what mortgage rates were back then. Do you remember what they were? 18% banks were paying you 12% on your CD money. So if you had half a million dollars sitting in a CD, earning 12%, that'd be $60,000 a year of interest. Not bad. What would you do with that? But you're living in a totally different world today. I know we're full of optimism. Hey, next Friday, we got the inauguration. I'm going to talk about that. But uh, we're all hopeful. We're hopeful the taxes are going to come down. Regulations are going to be stripped away. Less government in our lives. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway... Even though uh, the Fed just raised rates by a whopping quarter of a percent, wouldn't hold your breath for uh, any meaningful interest rate rise anytime soon. It could take years for them to get any of this stuff together. You know that. In fact, it might take much longer than that. Bonds, which have also been the traditional go-to investment, well, the bond market's gotten pretty dangerous lately, if you know, if you've been following bonds. So all of a sudden... This has you scratching your head. It's forcing you to invest in things that maybe you don't understand. Maybe you're at all-time highs, whether you want to do it or not. That's dangerous. It's dangerous to be playing while some stocks are breaking all-time records. Because you know what happens. What goes up must come down. It's just natural. Because it could only be a matter of time, right? So how do you invest in this era? What should your retirement account asset allocation look like now that we're closing in on these all-time levels across the board on the NASDAQ, the Dow, S&P? So today, right here, right now on Protect Your Assets, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take you through a 60-minute retirement boot camp. Hoo-ah! We're going to walk you through some things to think about if you're trying to create wealth as part of your New Year's resolution. It's a brand new year, so take a big gulp of that Starbucks, get your notes open, and get ready to become clear on your mission, soldier. This is going to be a great show, so you want to keep it right here. Now, let's get started, shall we? This has been another interesting week in the market. In fact, a couple of the indexes were up, and the major Dow was down. Not much, but it was down. In fact, Thursday, you all got the puckering feeling, right? (laughs) <laughs> yes, you did. As that market opened up big and deep, some people started saying, ooh, we're down a little bit more today. What's coming? What's going to happen? And there's all this speculation around the inauguration. It's coming next Friday. And then what's going to happen? Well, some positive news. The Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report came out yesterday. It was at a 13-year high, so all of us are feeling pretty good right now. The PPI was up 0.3% in December. Now, this is possibly negative because that shows signs of inflation. This is the third time it's been up in the last year. What happens when inflation's coming back? Do you want to own things like gold? Maybe. Maybe. Dollar's been going down a little bit. That's typically good as well for gold. You know what? The smart minds are saying about gold right now? Well, you've got some different analyst price targets out there for 2017. Get this. The low from City, 1180. 
the high from UBS, 1350. So we're barely at 1200 right now. If we could see 1350 per ounce on the price of gold, that'd be a nice little run up. So is that possible? Well, there's arguments on both sides of that. The bottom line is all about uncertainty. Gold is your hedge and your portfolio against uncertainty. Because if anything shakes free in China, anything wiggles loose in Europe, or even here for that matter, gold should behave in a decent manner. However, if rates rise exponentially, dollar gets stronger, you're going to have gold fall under pressure. So on the low end, you know, if you're looking at 1180, well, you're over that now, you're 1199, so it's not too big of a move. Might be a nice place to put your assets, but let's think about this. What about history showing us with inaugurations? There was a great article out by uh, Mr. Watts who published this article this week and it was talking about the run up we've seen, the market rally followed by the Trump election on November 8th and we all know about this, everyone's heard about it wondering what's going on and seeing on Thursday, well, maybe it's over. But next week, and if you look back over history, this is what's so fascinating. If you look at the charts of this, going all the way back to Eisenhower, again, according to Mr. Watts, uh, February is the month of danger. In fact, on average, we've seen a pullback of about 2%. And that is typically, February is the worst month uh, in post-election years when you, when you stack this stuff up from Eisenhower. So, you know, you can see on this chart that he's got here, uh, a move anywhere from uh, down 0.6% up to, looks like down 0.47, actually, sorry, down 14.4%. So they're averaging at around one8 Overall, it looks pretty negative. So that makes sense because everyone's been so, you know, over, over, overzealous, if you will, <laughs> excited by lowering taxes, by interest rates, by all these kind of things that are supposed to happen. Bam, just like that, right? Is it going to happen that fast? Probably not. It's going to take longer for these things to happen. And it's just going to take time to settle in. So that's going to have the market pause and possibly fall back if – Things don't go necessarily the way they, they should go. Why is that? Well, it's because the stock market right now, if you talk to most people, it's fully valued. In fact, you've got to be selective today when you start to think about what you're going to be buying. And there's certainly some great ideas. When we come back in the next segment, we're going to talk about what sort of things I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about, and what you should be thinking about too. What I do like to hear about as well is uh, China. So this week you saw Jack Ma come out and see Mr. Uh, Trump, President Trump, elect. Uh, and Jack Ma talked about creating a million jobs through Alibaba here in the United States. And that's great because China and us should be friends. We both need each other. We know that. We're going to need infrastructure capital to spend on the bridge. Where are you going to get the money from? You think we're going to pay more taxes? I don't know. I don't think so. Most people say, I, don't, I, can't, I can't pay any more money. I'm already paying enough and all this stuff. I want to pay less. So where are you going to find the money to pay the infrastructure bills? Well, those are going to probably come from bonds. And who's going to buy our debt? Well, probably China again, right? Especially if the relations are good. So anyway, you want your banker. I'm going to call China our banker. China, we want them to be friendly to us, not necessarily an enemy. So I think those two are going to work it out. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm optimistic about it, which means that there might be some interesting aspects to check out in the emerging markets. China is an emerging market. I wouldn't just jump back into the BRIC portfolio because I don't necessarily like some of the other BRICs. I like C, but I don't like some of the others. But anyway, there's some interesting stories happening right now around the world. What about Argentina? Have you been following Argentina at all? You've got a new president down there you got a history of culture that's over 300 years old. In fact, they're older than we are. I've been there to Buenos Aires, spent some time. And I'll tell you that uh, it's, a great, it's a great country when things are working well, and there's a lot of natural resources down there. And uh, they got some interesting stories going on right now, so you might want to check that out if you're getting into uh, any emerging markets or international exposure in your portfolio. And I would recommend that you don't go with country-specific 
exchange traded funds or ETFs. Some people try and do that. I would look for a portfolio manager who knows what they're doing in particular areas and let them pick the stocks or the bonds that you're going to be buying in that particular area because those people have done their research, their homework. But it would be worth it for you to check that area out. Another area that I like right now is healthcare. I think uh, we've seen the worst of healthcare. And you heard Trump talk this week about being mad about the drugs and the prices and so forth. But if you look at it right now, biotech, pharma, managed companies, there's so much to healthcare. It's not just about, about drugs. It's all kinds of stuff. When you have biotech, if we're going to keep making cancer attacking pills or Alzheimer's attacking pills, you think pharmacy is going to spend money on that stuff if they know that their prices are going to be fixed? Of course not. So in order for us to continue to develop new drugs to solve the problems of the folks of, I'll say it, Mr. Trump's age, he's going to need more prescriptions and so forth. You know, they're going to be thinking about, how do you do that? So I don't think anything really terrible is going to happen to them. I don't think price fixing is going to happen. What I think you're going to see is a better process to get through the FDA. That's what I'm hoping to see. Because get this, right now, in order to get a drug through the FDA, it takes five levels five levels. You talk about excess government overdoing it. Five levels is a lot. So so that's an area that hopefully these folks will work on Congress and fix it, make it better, and uh, make drugs better, cheaper, and uh, more, more readily available for those illnesses that we're trying to solve. When we come back, we're going to get into some really good ideas about how you can start to create wealth now. I know you've set your, your goals for the new year. This is a great time right now, January 14th, to get together, sit down, and lay out your goals and make them happen. you got a whole year ahead of you, a big year. So right now is the time to think about it. When we come back, we're going to get into it. You are listening to the Protect Your Assets show. This is my 2017 boot camp. I am the Sandman. We'll be right back. Protect your assets. Empower your finances. This is the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio. EmpowerRadio.com. It was a Saturday morning. I was checking my accounts, drinking coffee, and then I hear that little voice in my head, and it said, What on earth are you doing? Why are you trying to be your own financial advisor? You don't know anything about the financial business. You've got too much money at stake to do this by yourself, and too many people counting on you. Well, sometimes you've got to listen to those voices. So I made the call. Monday, I got the call back, and I met with David Hollander, just the two of us. Came in with my numbers, portfolio, basically everything, and he said, put that away. So we didn't talk about what I had. We talked about what kept me up at night. We talked about what I want when I retire. Let's talk. Call the Liberty Group today at 888-588-5818. That's 888 888- 588-5818. Or, to make it easy, go to libertygroupllc.com. Empower your money. You're listening to the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio. Empowerradio.com. There is no more incredible man on this earth. Welcome back. I'm David Hollander. I'm also known as the Sandman, and you're listening to Protect Your Assets on the Protect Your Assets radio network. Are you ready to make some big changes this year? It is 2017, after all. Can you believe it? 2017, we've got Donald Trump coming in as president of the United States of America. I've pulled together today my top ideas to help you get on the right financial track. And ring in this new year in a positive way. These tips could really help you get clear on your path to financial security if that's what you're after. So let's get started with the easiest way to start saving money right now. You ready? Razzle, dazzle, one, two, three, four. It's tough out there. I know know that. Saving money right now is just tough. Because let's face it, it feels like Every dollar you make is gone before you make it, doesn't it? So think about this, would you? Pay yourself first. Write it down. 
Pay yourself first. What is he talking about? I'm talking about putting money away into some sort of a savings account before anything else happens. And you may say, well, how can that happen? When I get my paycheck, all those taxes are gone. The government's taking theirs. And then it hits my bank account. Well, guess what? You can add another deduction onto that paycheck. And it's called the Roth IRA or Roth 401k or Roth account. It's all different types. But you can drop money into one of these types of accounts under different types of circumstances. So let's think about it. Right now, how would you do it? Well, first and foremost, you've got to think about that taxes come off of your income. Every dollar you make, you got to pay taxes, right? And what happens to that? Well, you never see it. It goes someplace else. And so now you're wondering, well, how do I not do that? Well, it's almost impossible. You got to pay the taxes. We all know that. But there are legal ways where you can defer some of your income before it actually hits the government's radar screen, if you will. And one of the best ways to do that is something called a Roth IRA, because the more you pay in taxes, the less you keep. So I want you to write two things down now. First, pay yourself first. And second, the more you pay in taxes, the less you keep. Now, right now, for 2017, <clears throat> the Roth contribution amount is $5,500. Now, if you're over 50, it goes up to $6,500. And those are numbers for 2017. Now, yes, there are phase outs, meaning if you make certain amounts, they're going to limit your ability to contribute to the Roth. However, you're not done because you can do a conversion no matter how much you make. You heard what I just said? No matter how much you make, you can do a conversion. So you want to look at things like the Roth IRA, the Roth 401k, which could be a companion to your normal 401k, maybe a Roth 403b or 457 for all you government workers out there. By paying the tax now on what you save, rather than deferring that tax on your savings until well into the future, when tax rates are just going to be uncertain, you may lose a small part now, a short-lived tax deduction, but you could substantially prosper down the road. It's just that simple. So let's start looking at some examples and take our time on this today so we're not rushed. First and foremost, let's say your career is doing great. You're actually making money. You like your job. You're happy. You're smiling. I can see you out there, Mr. Smile and Mrs. Smile. That's a beautiful smile. And you're paying taxes right now. In fact, you're paying possibly 30% federal tax. And if Mr. Trump has his way, you're still going to be paying 30% federal tax because 30% is better than what you've been paying, 39.6, right? And go on. Anyway, you're paying state of California tax. If you're lucky and living in cities like we live in, you're paying 12 to 14% city and state tax. Don't you feel great about that? Mm -hmm. So by the time you get done, you're paying a lot. So let's just say if we're talking about 30%, that means that if you contribute $4,000, say, to a traditional tax deferred savings plan like your 401k, maybe like you're doing right now, that's only worth about $1,200 in savings on your current tax bill. Think about it this way. That's about $23 a week. And I bet you blow more than that on your coffee every day, don't you? So here's what this means. The money that you're doing this with isn't really a refund. It's a deferred tax that you're going to pay later. Plus the tax on, this is the big part, all the interest, the $4,000 is going to generate over the years that you have it stuck away in those accounts and you're not thinking about it or looking at it. And when you start to withdraw that money later, it's going to be ordinary income too. You're going to pay income taxes on that. Think about it this way. What if instead you give up that $23 a day deduction for a greater reward later. Over time, 
using the power of compound interest. That's the percentage of interest growth on both your principal and any interest you earn. In fact, the famous Einstein, his most famous work, besides the power of gravitity, the equation E equals mc squared, was on compounding and the power of that, and that being one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Think about it. Think about that mushroom cloud when you see a nuclear bomb blow up, right? What does that look like? It's just kind of awe-inspiring, right? You say, wow, that's pretty impressive. All the power of that. What I'm talking about right now is more powerful than that. In fact, it can level an entire city. Mathematically, we're talking about compound interest. So put that to work in your savings plan, and you're going to see some, hopefully, pretty spectacular results that could add up to big-time money later in the future. I'm going to use Roy as an example. Roy started saving when he was 25. And you may say, well, I'm 50 now. And I say, that's great. I actually like it if you're 50 right now. It's even better. Well, maybe not better, but it's great for you. And I love it. I'm going to say that because it's never too late, okay? So Roy started saving. He started contributing to a Roth IRA. Write that down. Roth IRA, question mark, every year. And right now, he's contributed about $49,000 to his Roth. Now, when we compound it, and I'm going to use 6% as an average rate of return over 14 years. That's worth $72,058. Now, had he opted for the traditional tax-deferred 401k with the same interest rate, Roy would have accumulated the same amount of money because it's the same contribution amount. In addition, he would have received on the 401k the tax deduction every year we were talking about earlier. So let's say the hypothetical combined tax savings over the same 14 years from the 401k would have been identical, $700 or 9,800 worth of tax deductions over 14 years at a hypothetical tax rate of 20%. It would appear that betting on the tax-free planning approach with a Roth, as Roy did, was a bad choice. But not in Roy's case because he's like a lot of us. The $9,800 in tax-deferred savings over 14 years from the 401k, which averages out to about $700 a year, is great if Roy was disciplined enough to have invested those funds outside. But you and I know Roy doesn't do that. Roy goes out and he buys a Starbucks each day. Or maybe he runs off and sees the Giants, which is a great thing to do. I love that's coming back. We can't wait. Sorry, I digressed. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we use that money to buy other things that we like, like music, right? Or books or who knows, or movies. You know, we spend money on whatever. It's so easy, isn't it? Or your Apple products. But now comes the really bad news. If Roy had opted for the 401k instead of the Roth and left the $72,058 to grow for 25 years at the same 6% average, then get this, his $72,058 would have grown to this, $309,263. All right? But you got to remember, this, this is what's the big news, that 309263, that pile of cash, it's not his. Not all of it, anyways. Every dollar he withdraws later is going to be subject to income tax. And it's going to be taxed at the rate he's in at that time. Remember that. And you may not be in a lower tax bracket at that time. In fact, we see this all the time with people who are retiring right now. They're not in lower tax brackets when you start to add the Social Security, the pension, the RMDs out of their IRAs, the income from their properties. In fact, things start to add up quick and you may be paying more taxes when you're not working. Wow. He's got to share that tax with Uncle Sam. And if Roy's tax bracket at that age is, say, 35%, then get this, $108,242 in that account is Mr. Sam's. IRS wants it, and they're entitled to it. And he's got to pay taxes on it. But if he had had it in the Roth IRA, and here's the power, folks. Here's the explosion. Here it happens. The whole 309263 in that Roth, it's his, all of it, and it's tax-free. And he doesn't have to take it if he doesn't want it. That's so big. 
So do that for you. Climbing this rope ladder right now is tough. I know it. It's hard. You don't have time to do this. You're busy. I get it. I'm going to throw you a lifeline right now. You need to get started today with my personalized five-point retirement master plan. Now, there's no cost or obligation for this. In this custom analysis, here's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn things like how do you protect your portfolio and use things that are, that are available to you to try and maximize the growth on that and minimize your risk. What kind of strategies can you use right now to convert your savings into income that can help sustain you as you wean off of the paycheck? How do you avoid the retirement tax trap that could needlessly cost tens of thousands of dollars in taxes, penalties, and fees? And how do you protect all that you've worked for from the surprising cost of health care? We don't know what the future looks like. We've been told it's going to get better, but is it? Most people I'm talking to are paying a lot more money on health care. What about long-term care? That's going to cost you a fortune. What are you going to do? It's a very difficult problem. It's not simple. And most importantly, how you can fill the gaping holes that are in your current plan. Because let's be honest with each other. You can't handle the truth. This analysis is ideally suited for people who are recently retired or within 10 years of retiring and have saved at least $250,000 for retirement. What you learn in this one meeting, soldier, could change everything for you. To get yours, you got to pick up the phone and call the Liberty Group directly. The number is 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. The number to get yours is 1-888-588-5818. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. You are listening to the Protect Your Assets show. I am the Sandman. We'll be right back. The lines are open for the next five minutes. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818 to get your free retirement master plan. It's 888-588-5818. Protect your assets. Empower your finances. This is the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio. EmpowerRadio.com. Empower your money. You're listening to the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio, EmpowerRadio.com. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm David Hollander. I'm also known as the Sandman around here because I help my listeners sleep well at night by answering their most troubled legal or financial questions. And you're listening to Protect Your Assets on the Protect Your Assets Radio Network. Are you ready to make some big changes for this 2017 year, well, we've put together some of our top ideas to help you get on the right financial track as you ring in this new year. These tips could help you get clear on your path to financial security. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it again. Razzle, dazzle, one, two, three, four. So, you know, the top investment ideas for this year have been bantered about. And so I want to share with you what I think. And I think at this moment, you're seeing a time where the stock market is pretty fairly valued. It's high right now. Bonds are starting to look attractive as the price of those came down and yields have started to creep up slightly. This week, we saw peel back a little bit. But, uh, you know, where should you be looking? You got to start thinking about yield because as this market, which I think will stay pretty much in this area, I think February will probably be the month of pullback and that might be a good buying opportunity for those of you looking at equities particular type of equities. But um, this this is going to be a time where dividends are going to be key. And if you can get total return of a good dividend and maybe some modest growth, which is probably what you're going to see this year as these uh, unknowns start to come into play, that'll help, should help your total portfolio return. So we're seeing pretty good value right now in European blue chip dividend paying stocks. And last week, I wanted some detail about those. So 
if you want to learn more, go back and listen to the podcast at libertygroupllc.com and you'll see uh, the podcast the shows there and you can listen to them and see what I had to say about specific issues. I haven't changed my opinion there. However, another area I like right now are municipal bonds and munis are looking better than after disappointing last year when the total return was pretty flat because as interest rates started to rise, a lot of those started to get hurt especially on the longer-term debt. Yields on these rose as much as a half of a percentage point, and AAA-rated 10-year debt can find around 2, 2 and a quarter. The 30-year AAA debt, a little over 3%. Now, if you get into lower-rated, and this is where we're looking at quality. How do you rate something? There's rating agencies out there that rate uh, investments, and I would encourage you to get my book, where I describe how the rating agencies work and what they mean. I don't have time this morning to go through it. Again, the website, libertygroupllc.com. You can download the book. Protect your assets, of course. But anyway, um, if you go with non-rated debt, you can start to find some even better yields, 3.5%, 4%. And as we were talking about it last segment, tax-free is tax-free. And if you buy a bond that's issued in the state that you live in, it's not only federally tax-free, but it's state tax-free. And when we start talking about California tax on top of the income tax you're paying the federal government, you're talking some interesting returns. Even if the top tax bracket goes from 39.6 down to 33, say, which is what's proposed, and even that happens quickly, it still will be a nice result for you overall, especially when you factor in the price of California tax. Now, when you look at municipal bonds, should you go and just buy bonds? Well, if you're going to do that, if you're going to buy individual issues, then it's important to, to figure out where is the revenue coming that's going to pay you your dividends. And on bonds, you typically get paid every six months. So if you're looking at, say, a general obligation bond of the state of California, that's all the uh, revenue the state of California would collect would be used to pay you, the general bondholder, for that particular bond issue. When you start to look at individual cities or counties or public works or schools, there's so many different, or infrastructure we see coming, right? All this is going to be coming our way. Those, Those sources is what's going to pay you your coupon, your dividend. And at the end of the day, when that bond matures on a particular maturity date, they're the ones going to pay you back your principal. Remember, bond prices will fluctuate. You could buy a bond today and it could go down in value next week, a month later, two months later. Do you sell it? Well, no. If you're going to buy an individual bond and you know the maturity date is a certain date, then you should think in your mind you're going to hold it to maturity. and You're going to collect your coupons all the way down the road. And you know what your yield is because... That's something you get when you buy it. You get yield to maturity. You know what that is. Also look at yield to call, which means the bond could get called early out on you. And if it did, what would your yield to call be? So don't just focus on the yield to maturity. Look at the yield to call as well. If you don't want to get into this, you just say, I don't I don't know anything about this. I don't want to do that, but I like tax-free. Then you might take a look. And I say might because you got to be careful. You want to definitely read the prospectuses on these things and find out more information There are two ways to do it. One is you could buy a mutual fund that invests in tax-free bonds and has a portfolio manager that runs that, and there's tons of them out there. Or you could buy an exchange-traded fund which doesn't have a portfolio manager, so typically the fees are lower, and it buys a basket of different types of bonds and different types of areas, and there's so much to choose from. It's kind of overwhelming. But in any event, it's out there. If that's something you're looking for, then municipal bonds aren't looking too bad. If you're going to get into telecom, which is something else that people are talking about right now because they're paying good dividends. And right now in the U.S., the two big telecom stocks, which have been talked about a lot, are AT&T and Verizon. They're coming off strong 2016s. We saw AT&T return over 30%. Verizon was up over 21%. Prices have come down a little bit so far this year because maybe they're a little bit overvalued. But you still see pretty decent PEs when you're looking at it compared to the rest. And I'm sorry, I'm talking price to earnings ratios. When you're when you're comparing them to other stocks, they're still a pretty decent value, and they pay a nice dividend. And that's what I'm talking about again. If you can buy a stock that has earnings, 
that has revenue that pays you ultimately as a shareholder and you have some decent appreciation in that stock over the year because it's at a fair value, that, that's good. That's what you're looking for. And so I might encourage you to look at some of the European blue chip telecom companies that are out there because maybe they have a little better value. Does that make sense? I know this is tricky. I know it seems complicated, and I'm going to help you get started. How can you get started? Well, we're going to help you right now. You can get started today with my personalized five-point retirement master plan. Now, there's no cost or obligation if you call right now on this. In this analysis, here's what we're going to do. Here's what you'll discover as you do this. We'll start to look at ways that you can design your retirement portfolio or your savings portfolio. Maybe you're trying to save for something else. Maybe you're just trying to grow wealth. Whatever you're trying to do, we'd like to talk to you about that and share with you how you can spread the asset allocation around and try and lower your overall risk. We're going to look at some simple strategies on converting that savings and sitting in the bank earning nothing into income that could possibly help sustain you the rest of your life. How do you avoid these tax traps that are out there that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars, taxes, penalties, fees, late charges? How do you protect everything you've worked for from probate? Well, we're going to be doing a workshop coming up here soon where we're going to get into that, but you can also learn it through this meeting. We'll get into things like health care, long-term care, taxes, trust, attorneys, all these things that can cost you money when you die or you live a long time with an illness, they can cost you a lot of money or your family. Most importantly, how can you fill the holes right now that are existing in your plan? Do you even have a plan? Well, this analysis is ideally suited for people who are thinking about retiring. Maybe you're 10 years out. Maybe you're in retirement now. Hopefully you've saved at least $250,000. But what you learn in this one meeting, it could change everything for you. It could really help you get your act together, which I know is something you've been trying to do for a long time. To get yours, you got to pick up the phone and call the Liberty Group directly. The number is 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. The number to get yours is 1-888-588-5818. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. When we come back, we're going to get into a very great story we had happen recently. Uh, And this had to do with um, Medi-Cal recovery and someone uh, actually possibly losing quite a bit of money, but they knew what to do. So we're going to talk to you. We're going to educate you on the new rules that just came out here in 2017 on recovery. You are listening to the Protect Your Assets show. I am David Hollander. I'm the Sandman. The lines are open for the next five minutes. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818 to get your free retirement master plan. It's 888-588-5818. Protect your assets. Empower your finances. This is the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio. EmpowerRadio.com. It was a Saturday morning. I was checking my accounts, drinking coffee, and then I hear that little voice in my head, and it said, what on earth are you doing? Why are you trying to be your own financial advisor? You don't know anything about the financial business. You've got too much money at stake to do this by yourself, and too many people counting on you. Well, sometimes you've got to listen to those voices. So I made the call. Monday, I got the call back, and I met with David Hollander, just the two of us. Came in with my numbers, portfolio, basically everything, and he said, put that away. So we didn't talk about what I had. We talked about what kept me up at night. We talked about what I want when I retire. Let's talk. Call the Liberty Group today at 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. Or to make it easy, go to libertygroupllc.com. I am 
just a poor boy, though my story is seldom told. Empower your money. You're listening to the Protect Your Assets Radio Network on Empower Radio. EmpowerRadio.com. All lies in chess, still a man hears what he wants to hear. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm David Hollander. I'm also known as the Sandman around here. And you're listening to Protect Your Assets on the Protect Your Assets Radio Network. You know, if you're trying to save tens of thousands of dollars, even as much as $100,000 in retirement income, there's one great way to do that, and that's through Social Security. And we're going to be doing a couple workshops coming up uh, here in the Bay Area. way to find out about it is you can go to the website, libertygroupllc.com, click on the Seminars tab, and you'll see uh, there's a couple events coming up, and um, those are January 19th and the 26th, uh, both in the North Bay and down in the South Bay as well. But also we're doing uh, some legal workshops as well. And so if you've been trying to get your trust together, maybe a will, uh, want to know about some of these new 2017 changes I'm about to talk to, we'll be doing one right here in our office on uh, the 26th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You're welcome to come. You just have to call the number 866-PROTECT. It's one 866 protect. So 2017 has come along and there's some changes that you should know about, especially if you have assets. Because the government, state of California, has rights to your assets, believe it or not, where they can come take it. It's called recovery. And there had been some confusion about whether or not the state could come back and say, take your house or some of your assets if the money was used to take care of, say, your wife or your husband uh, while they were alive. So in 2017, there was a bill uh, that passed. It was Senate Bill 33. And um, there's no recovery now allowed from a surviving spouse or a registered domestic partner, regardless, get this, regardless of when the Medi-Cal spouse died. So as long as you're a registered domestic partner or you're a spouse of someone who has passed away and you owe money, doesn't mean you don't have to let them know that they passed away. You still have that obligation to file that notice. However, now they can't come and take the property away from you while you're alive. That's the key. What happens when you die? Well, they can come and look at it. So you want to do something about it. Now, the other change that came with this new law was regarding small estates. And I talk a lot about this, and we'll talk more about it at the, at the workshop. But if you have $150,000 or more in assets, you could find yourself in probate court. The new law talks about the $150,000 or less number as being what's called a small estate. And so let's say you owe the state of California $100,000 in, um, in medical costs that you had incurred over your lifetime and then you died. Can they come after your small estate? The answer is no. So this new law has now said $150,000 or less. It's considered a small estate and it's not subject to recovery anymore. And this is new. That's, that's good. They're also excluding from recovery uh, mobile homes. Maybe you have a truck or a camper or a boat or even a floating home. Some of you over there in Salsalito can see you there in the bay. But anyway, these are, um, these are all no now non-recoverable. So this could be a way for you to protect some assets and stash them in a place where they couldn't get at them. And by knowing how to do this before it happens to you is what's so important. We can tell you plenty of stories, plenty of people where they were facing hundreds of thousands of dollars of recovery liens that were coming their way. But because they had prepared the estate before they got the notice, they were able to pay a much smaller amount, much, much smaller amount than they otherwise would have had to do. So for those of you thinking about this, this is how you fall into it. Let's just say you're walking down the street and you fall and you break your hip. Or you wake up one day and you're just not quite yourself. You're not able to make financial decisions or change your clothes. I mean, we have someone who um, heard about recently who wears the same outfit for 10 days in a row. They don't really realize that, that this is going on. These are signs that something's, something mentally is breaking down. Something's happening. Well, what can you do? What do you need to worry about? Well, first of all, realize if you wind up in the hospital or you need some sort of medical care, now under the new 2017 Medicare rates, these are brand new, just came out, you're going to pay a deductible for uh, the first up to 60 days in the hospital of $1,316. Now, when you get into day 61 to 90, 
your daily deductible goes to $329. And for day 91 through 150, it's $658 a day. So do the math on that. It's a lot of money. These are what you're going to have to pay. Now, there's rules about this. The California uh, legislature has passed laws that have amounts of money that you as a, if you're a community spouse, you're married, you're entitled to keep certain amounts of assets, certain amount of income. The average private pay rate, get this, for a nursing home here in California is $8,189 right now. I mean, that's gone up tremendously. It's gotten extremely expensive. So all I can tell you is you definitely want to get yourself uh, some help on this and start thinking about ways where you could do it. There are many important components that make up a successful retirement. This is just one of them. But nothing's going to be as important to you as your ability to generate income in retirement. When you retire, income is king. In fact, your ability to generate income could totally dictate your lifestyle in retirement. And that's not easy today because putting your money in the bank, it's a joke. Nobody's willing to risk their life savings in the market. And you got to think about other things you can do. So what can you do? Well, first and foremost, I want to wish a happy birthday to James Ewan and Terry Legler. Hope you guys have a great birthday. But anyway, what can you do? How can you generate income in retirement? What are your options to make your money work for you right now? How do you optimize your Social Security? That one alone could mean the difference of $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000 even $400,000 more of income if you're married. And most importantly, how do you develop a strategy that could help you sustain yourself through retirement so you don't run out of incomes? So you know where your income is going to come from, what you're spending. You just got to pay, it, stay on top of it and look at it. If you're recently retired or say you're retiring in the next 10 years and you've saved at least $250,000 for retirement, then be one of my first 10 callers right now on the show to schedule your complimentary customized analysis. To get yours, you got to pick up the phone and call the Liberty Group directly. The number is 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. The number to get yours is 1-888-588-5818. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818. That's 888-588-5818. I'd like to give a big thanks to the Protect Your Assets team for putting together another great show today. My executive producer, Anthony Kojikari, network manager, Kevin Renfer, and of course, all my fabulous producers back in the studio there, Matt and Gabe. Thanks, guys, because without my team, just another pretty face on the radio. Thanks again, everybody. You've been listening to the Protect Your Assets show on the Protect Your Assets Radio Network. I am David Hollander, the Sandman. Have a great weekend. The lines are open for the next five minutes. Call the Liberty Group right now at 888-588-5818 to get your free retirement master plan. It's 888-588-5818. All calls have been screened. Callers should not expect their conversations with David Hollander on the radio or with staff to be held in confidence. And that legal information provided on the air is not intended to be a substitute for callers hiring their own lawyers to advise them about personal legal matters. Callers should not provide their full names while on the air. The views expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views of the station. Proper advice depends on complete analysis of all the facts and circumstances. The information given on this program is in the nature of general financial comment and cannot be relied upon as pertaining to your specific financial situation. California Life Agent number 0B48569. Listeners should consult their own financial advisor or conduct their own due diligence before making any financial decisions. The preceding program is being paid for by Liberty Group LLC, and the views and opinions of the host do not necessarily represent those of the station or its ownership.